Hello. So today we are going to be playing a new game. And it may have been a long time since I last uploaded, but I hope I can make it worthwhile because now we're going to be introducing a new game to the channel. And we're going to have commentary now. So this is Rise of Kingdoms Lost Crusade. It's basically the game where you are the governor of the city and you have to gather resources and train troops to defeat your enemies. And this is my city. So the main goal is to attack your enemies and level up your city hall, which I'm currently doing right now. So, if you've never played this game, I definitely recommend it. Right now we're in the Game of this Kingdom. I can't participate in it, though, because my city hall is too low of a level. So... I'm also currently training a bunch of troops. I recently unlocked a new troop type over here. I recently unlocked Long Bowman, which so basically, if you don't understand, because obviously if you've never played this game, you wouldn't understand. Basically, this is the academy. There are two different types of military. So there are two different types of technology. Economic and military. This is military, and it helps improve your combat, I believe. So like military disciplines, first military technology you can unlock and it gives you 20% increased training speed. It doesn't give a lot of power because it's a really easy one to get, but it's also super efficient for later troop types. Right after that you have ironworking, improved fletching, horsemanship, and flaming projectile, which means nothing to anyone that has never played this before, but basically and they increase the attack of different types of troops by 2% per level. Iron working is for infantry units, improved fletching is for archers, horsemanship is obviously for cavalry, flaming projectile is for siege units, and then swordsmen, bowmen, light cavalry, and archibalista are very important to obtain as they're the tier 2 troops. And they are much more powerful than tier 1 troops. After that, you can unlock Pathfinding, which increases the march speed of your troops up to 15%, and Tracking, which increases the amount of information that you can gain by scouting enemy cities. So then you have Buckler, Leather Armor, Scale Armor, and Enhanced Axle, which correlate to the same troops, but instead of attack, they are defense by the same weight. After that is tier 3 troops, which is spearmen, composite spearmen, heavy cavalry, and mangonels. I, I think you try to spell it. It's kind of like a catapult. But anyways, after that is camouflage, which is basically just another tracking. And then combat tactics. These are one of the first ones, like, Combat tactics, defensive formation, cartography, and herbal medicine is the ones that I have not finished yet. That comes up to tier 4 troops, but first combat tactics increases your damage for all units by up to the same rate as the other ones, but it has double the level, so it um, is less efficient. Defensive formation is obviously their defense, but herbal medicine is their health. Cartography is more march speed. But then, I've got longbowmen. I'm researching long swords. Kinda, kinda it's like a coincidence how both of them start as long. After that's gonna be night, then ballista. Then I'm going to go to woods, steel, bodkin arrows, stirrups, and ballistics. 
My new notice is the blue line connecting longbowmen and bodkin arrows, and that shows that I don't need to worry about upgrading any more technologies to upgrade bodkin arrows. However, I do need to upgrade my academy level, but I can't while I'm researching this. And your city hall basically acts as a base level, so you cannot have anything with a higher level than your city hall. Mine is currently level 21, and it's upgrading to 22, and in the next few days it'll be fully upgraded. After that, I will upgrade my academy, but first, I'm also upgrading my barracks, which is for infantry troops. So I don't have much I can do right now because all of my troops are out gathering food. Right now we're in the champion, the Mightiest Governor event, which uh, it just started today, the day one, and basically we get points on day one for training troops, which I'm doing a lot of, not as efficient as other people because if I go back in their life not so I am in 110th place I have 353,920 points number one has 29,230,000 points wait a minute didn't they say the maximum points that doesn't let you go above that um, above something hold on Oh. Okay then. Okay, there is no maximum power this time. Normally they do certain points. Normally they do a maximum number of points that you're allowed. But I guess they didn't this time. So, um, I'm going to upgrade my castle soon because it's a really low level. The only problem is books of covenant can only be obtained from healing barbarian forts. I'll show you how many troops I have right now. Right now I have 308,126 troops. These require 780,000 tier 4 troops to fight. Most of mine are tier 3. And I figured out the ratio was about every time you upgrade a troop to the next tier, it gets about a 50% bonus staff. It's not exactly that, but it pretty much means that if you have tier 3 troops instead of tier 4, then you need about 1.5 times the amount of tier 4 troops, but tier 3. So, before in KVK I was able to participate, like, with this I'm able to do stuff, but I sadly won't be able to get this level 3 expanded training, because I don't, I'm not going to be able to get enough ancient coins. Like, I completely finished all of the day 4 tasks, so I got a lot from that, but I can't do any here, well, I might be able to get this one, this one right here, if I do enough golden chest openings. I won't, it's not likely I'll be able to get this one, but I might if I get a t bunch of training speed ups. I can't do any here because I'm not in a, a very large alliance because I'm the leader of it and I recently picked a bunch of people because they were at AFK for like 20 days. I'm not, I'm not joking. I'll find the notification for it in a minute, but I can't do any more here because all the fog in our kingdom is explored, and so these are supposed to be ones that you explore in the Lost Kingdom, which is basically, um, here, I will show you, here, it's, oh, yeah, over here, so this is the Lost Kingdom. This is where KVK happens. So... I can't go here because my city hall is level 21 instead of 25. However, it was level 20 when KVK started, and it takes around 12 days to upgrade. So, 
Yeah, it takes a lot. When I upgraded it from level 20 to 21, there was an event that reduced the amount of resources it took for me to upgrade it by 60%, so that was super effective, but anyway, yeah, so it definitely helped me with upgrading, and it helped me upgrade a bunch of other stuff too. However, I kind of wish that Long Swordsman would just finish so that I can go tonight. Because I want to upgrade all my troops to tier 4. However, even when it does finish, I'm upgrading my barracks right now. Because to upgrade this to level 22, I had to get this to level 21, my hospital. And then... To get the hospital from level 20 to 21, I need to upgrade my archery range from its current level at level 19 or 18 or something like that up to 21. Hold up, let me see. Yeah, it was 19 because it was a level above all the others. Now, the main reason that I favor archers over my other troops is because of this little detail over here on the right, top right of my screen. It's my civilization, which is my enemies Britain. Choke on their own blood. Yeah, she's pretty aggressive. So, she was the starting commander for this civilization, and my special unit is Longbowmen. Now, um, the Sun Never Sets is our civilization ability. My civilization ability, because I'm Britain, my civilization is Britain, and it gives an increased archer attack troop training speed, and ally garrison capacity, and the troop training is definitely really useful, and the ally garrison is also really efficient, and the archer attack is something I never really bothered to think about, but it actually is very efficient, because it lets me train archers for even more efficiency. So if I go over here to my other account, I can show you what... I would have for my longbowman replacement if I was not uh, the Britain civilization. This one is Vikings, so instead of long swordsmen, they have like uh, barbarians. Or, no, no. What's it called? Um, I can check right now. Berserker, right? So, over here in archery range, they would be a crossbowman, and then a royal crossbowman, but instead I have a longbowman and an elite longbowman. So, that's a detail that doesn't matter all that much. I'm not entirely sure what the advantage special units have over their normal counterparts. But I'm sure it's something. That was actually a pretty good bone chest. Not this one, this one sucked. So this is um, a campaign event, which is just Sunset Canyon. Basically, every day I get um, rank rewards for both my accounts, and then every week I get season rewards that are usually about double the efficiency, double the value. Why are these guys not gathering anything? Six. Because I can't even gather all of it. Can gather this. And then he'll do a wood as well. Not level 4 though. Level 6? Yeah. See? It's close enough. Okay, so these are the different commanders that I have. I recently got Elfrid, which is a legendary commander, 
And I don't actually think I have him on my main. This is just like my farm. I use him for um rally attacks because you cannot attack barbarian ports on your own. You have to have an ally send troops, otherwise the attack is just cancelled. So, uh, I don't have much else to show. This is pretty much just an introduction to the game, showing that I'm going to be having commentary and a new game on the channel. I can't do much because all my troops are like, gathering, as I said before. Otherwise, I would like have them fight barbarians and maybe rally against some barbarian force. But, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to show for today, so...